bit of other video this weekend, other stuff that I have promised. But this just seemed fun and appropriate. Habitat improvement perfected. Awesome. Now, we need slightly better ship something or other. What are we going to do? Miniaturization? Yeah, maybe. Because we only need things to be a little bit smaller. Um, impulse drive is a faster, sh a faster engine. But that's not really where we want to go. Stinger 3 would be slightly smaller. Where's the... Could we just go medium scale building? You know what, that's what we'll do. We'll skip those small ships. We'll go right to medium ships. That'll be pretty good. All right. Advanced hulls it is. Okay. Habitat improvement completed. Hooray! And you are going to be my technological capital. Double our research. <laughs> so ridiculous. All right. Building those up. Awesome. Oh, we finished that one there. So... Um, right, we didn't get the translators. We got the manufacturing capital. What else are we going to build here? Hmm. I do not know yet. Could go with the bazaar. Hmm. Might just build another factory for now, actually. Queue it up there, and then we will, uh, we can replace something later if we want. Which we'll probably probably will do. Next turn. Corks are on their way to defeating the Korath clan, but their military and economic power is little hope for the Korath clan, clan at this point. Wow. Okay, that's pretty one-sided. The Corks are definitely leading, and we are now number ten. Oh man, we're so we're doing so bad in military. We're doing good otherwise. Ah, see, now it starts. Friend, our peacekeeping efforts throughout the galaxy are expensive. We need your help to contribute to this by transferring 104 BC from your treasure to ours. I mean, accept, because I have a fairly good economy, and I don't want to go to war yet. And actually, this will just improve our, t our, our relations. And actually, what the hell, I haven't done this in a while. Let's go do some trading. Um, can we get a bunch of this stuff? Let's go see. Handsome neutralization, no. Everything else they're okay with. Uh, we don't want that anyway. Logistics? Oh, wow, they're not usually willing to do that. Impulse drives, okay. Invasion? Nope. Space mining? Still nope. Biology? They're okay with. Miniaturization? They weren't. Okay. Now, the colonizations were 723. We can probably drop that. Well, computing is very cheap. Apparently they consider enhanced miniaturization very expensive. Even though they were allowing it before. You know what? Where, 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 what were we giving away? Advanced colonization isn't useful by itself. It's in fact, in this particular m map, it's pretty useless. There's what are you going to colonize? All the planets are taken. Yeah, two levels of miniaturization plus the power plants and logistics. And why are you saying no now? Weren't you saying yes before? How much more money do you want? Even with all my money, what? I don't understand. Okay, let's take that out. Maybe... I guess... Okay. Maybe I did this in a weird order. Advanced computing? Not quite enough. Maybe just... What about... Research? Computing? Logistics is too much. Alright, we'll just give you this and the money. What the hell? Take it. Useless tech for useful techs. Send. Draft. Do you still have nothing? Oh, right, they're slavers. I keep forgetting about this. A Xenofactory construction is probably worthwhile, actually. But then, slave bits. No, we're not, we're not going to make slave bits. Not in this game. That is expensive. Would you like advanced colonization? Why are you such a shithead? You've been completely unwilling to trade the entire game. These people have interesting personalities, to say the least, huh? Um, I'll give you missile theory. See, he likes the military technology. That's actually pretty valuable. Spatial militarization, slightly cheaper. Alright, and give me a bunch of money. Okay, we'll take that. Phalans. Advanced hulls we would like. Um, oh, they have chafe or chaff. I don't even know how to say it. I guess chaff? It's an anti-missile technology. You equip it on a ship that gives you defense against missiles. Do you know anthropology? Morale boost, I'd like that. Any of that you're willing to trade away? No, not anthropology, huh? Planetary adaptation? Probably not. Nope. 
Wait, was advanced halls no good? Really? Are you willing to trade anything? Chafe. Which is great if other people go missiles. And I guess some people have, clearly, because that's how we got our tech. It only cost 42? Can we just bu we'll buy it off you for 100? Yeah, actually, that seems worthwhile. Sure, we'll, we'll just do that. There we go. So we'll have some missile defense if we want it. Corks! Oh, yes, you just blackmailed us and left. You guys, what do you have? Aquatic world, beam theory, laser, space mining. Is anyone willing to trade space mining? Wow. Not for all the tea in China, huh? What? Like, xenobiology, I could... It's 15 research points! It would be a waste of my energy to research at this point. God damn it, why... They're so weird about that one. Alright, I don't want any of your... Oh, Stinger 3 actually would be nice. Like... Really? 723. Wow. Almost there. We're very close. Well, as much as I hate giving you a defense for something that I need, it's only 42 and you can get it pretty quickly. And apparently they value it a lot more highly because it's a military tech or something. I don't know. Alright, sounds good. So a miniaturized weapon that we're actually planning on using. We are giving away some of the uh, our defenses to that weapon, but I'm not terribly concerned. Oh, what do we have here that we can launch? A freighter just got here, and we have a freighter of our own. Awesome. We're going to. I'm going to send another one over here, just so that we can stay friends with these guys, even though it's not terribly important. Okay, we need to start pumping out culture really soon. We can get to work on that. Actually, don't we have um? An extra place, place on Earth? No. Right, because we're putting technological cap capital there. All right, that's okay. You, we're making money now. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to start pumping our influence. We are going to probably drop it right in the middle. That'll also increase our range. That's what I keep forgetting to build star bases to increase the range. So I am going to start off. I'm going to build one here. That should improve our range that way considerably, even if we do nothing else. And there's some asteroids right here that are being mined, so we're going to try to flip those with influence. Mwahaha. More freighters, more income, advanced hulls, yes. Now we want medium-scale construction. That's the direction we're going. The Iconian refugees have declared war against the Thalon Empire. Wow, so that's... Uh, these guys versus these guys, I think. Alright, you guys have fun with that. You boys have fun now! Another freighter. Which we will be able to send to, say, this planet, which is neutral. It's in the middle of the war zone. Yeah, we can't travel that far yet, but we will. Don't worry about it. We will, very shortly. There's going to be a starbase build. And you, can you build any ships yet? Not yet, huh? You're getting there. All right. Freighters, and how are we doing on trade routes? Uh, so we've got that one that's out there, and one more being built, and then we're done on traders. Or freighters, and then we'll start building military ships. Or, actually, we're done now. Because one just completed, and one's on the way. Yep, my bad. You switch over to constructors for now. We're still not ready to build, actually, military ships. But we could probably... I don't know, we'll just balance these guys a little bit. Making crazy amounts of money. Our approval rate has dropped, so we could actually drop our tax rate to 39. Still making lots of money. Good approval rate. Feeling good. And we are going to construct an influence starbase right here. Our first franchise. Look at that. Already pumps up our, our borders. And these guys, these mining bases, will flip eventually. Well, one of them's already ours, but this other one we're going to steal away. Ha 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 ha. And that's going to be better as we buff that guy up some more. And actually, what I'm probably going to do is set my first rally point right here. Set a rally point, go into Civilization Manager, and Governors, and all constructors will go to this rally point now automatically. Voila. So as they get built. Terrans have built the manufacturing capital. Oh, I'm so happy. Starting on their starport. So, um... 
What does that do to our production here? Look at this. Oh, that's actually Earth still kicking ass on there. The Karenids still not quite as good. It may be a population issue, partially. Um, but it should start to go a lot faster very, very shortly. We've got advanced factories, too. That's why Earth has advanced factories, and these guys have not gotten around to it yet. But they're doing okay. We could spend some money here. We've got lots of money, actually. Let's rush an upgrade for these factories. Anything else needs to be rushed? Technological capital? We could spend a little bit of money to get our research going a little faster. It's kind of expensive, but what the hell. Um, and an advanced factory. Sure. That looks good. Turns. Skip turns. Oh. The, the United Federation of Planets, or whatever the heck it's called, is going to assemble next week. Medium skill building. Excellent. Bigger ships. Bigger ships. Uh, so we can keep going down that route, but I don't think so. More miniaturization will help. We'll get that, then we'll build a ship. Okay. So we're going to vote on the, the idea of neutral ground right now, which is basically... Uh, if you, uh, it stops you from doing sneak attacks. So right now you could park all your ships next to a planet, declare war, and instantly attack. Now, the AI is smart enough to respond to all this stuff. It realizes what you're trying to do, but it still means it's a possibility. Um, by agreeing to this, it means if you declare war, any ships of yours in an enemy territory will automatically be kicked out. I am going to definitely vote for this because I don't want to be snuck attacked. And we voted yes. Everyone voted yes. Awesome. Now, it's in effect for three years, and I believe after that it'll come up for a vote again, and if it goes through a second time, it'll be permanent. Just part of the interstellar um, constitution, I guess. Oh, we got more tiles to improve. We've got this, we've got that. I think we're going to build an embassy here. Start pumping out some influence. Uh, although, I guess the innovation complex... It's a one-shot deal. Right, right, right. 50% more influence and a little bit of research. Embassy is just 15... Yeah, I'm going to build the innovation complex. I mean, I don't know how influential Mars is. I don't know how the influence works exactly. Well, here. Influence. 13, 11, 70 influence on Earth. So I don't know if it's po a factor of population or, or what. Um, civilization capital gives us 50% more influence. So I guess we should actually build it here if that's what we're concerned about. But what do we replace? A factory? Well, this research center actually doesn't do much compared to everything else. It is the research capital. So its research is being doubled by the fact that it's a capital. But, well, you know what? The innovation complex still gives us a little bit of research. We're really not going to lose much considering the bulk of our research comes from our special tiles. So, okay, innovation complex it is. So we're going to start just improving our influence more and more. What do you want? You want a lot of money. That's a lot of money, buddy. If I turn you down, I don't think you're going to go to war, but you won't be particularly pleased with me. Will you? Um, I'm going to reject this one. But we can trade more, dude. Like, we can still be friends. Wow, you are really building up those missiles, huh? Do you want, um... I can give you stuff. Trade? Computing? Um, anything that won't improve your... There we go. Your ability to smash me. Actually, let's take away habitat improvement and go and give you trade. Oh, you want... Because you're... Business? Economics? The fuck? And how about you give me some money? Send. And tell you what, let's be friends, man. How about you, what do you feel about an economic treaty? Too early for us to commit to treaties at this time. Research, same thing. Yeah. All right. Fine. Be that way. How are our actual friendships going on? Torians are neutral with us. We're close with the Corks and warm with the Iconians, so that's nice. How about you guys? Would you like a treaty? No. Too early. All right. Fine. Just stop bothering these nice people for a little while. Um, and we are working on right miniaturization. And that'll definitely be the last military tech. Corks built an economic capital. Good for them. Hey, restaurant of eternity. Oh, that's the next thing we're building. Forty-three turns. Really? Why so slow? 
improve your factories. Wow, it may be a, a population thing. Alright, let's just buy a factory here. Keep improving that as quickly as possible. One more turn. Ah! Enhance miniaturization. Excellent. Now, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff we'd like to have, sort of, kind of, but... It's like, such a waste of research! Just rather trade for it. More hit points. I think this applies to all ships, not even not just new ones. I don't know. Actually, space mining. That's what we want. We want to improve those asteroids some more. Sure. There's probably something else I said we needed, but, you know, that happens. Our economy is smoking very good right now. Uh, got that one freighter left to come in. We're making half our income is coming from trade. One problem is if there is a war that breaks out and you lose some of those trade routes, it really sucks. Freighter. Yes, you can trade here now. Hooray! And that's it. We've now maxed out our trade routes. Cool. Uh, why do we still have a freighter? Oh, starport idle. You are, um... Right! We can design our ship some more. Okay, which... The quill vet. Let us, uh, change this design here. So, it keeps all of our, our doodads, but replaces all the, the other bits. So, we are going to stick an ion drive on the back end. Hope that we can get it to fit. We do have... Oh, wait, no! My bad. The quill vet... No, we're going to be a medium-sized ship now. Um... Maybe... Ooh. Ooh, I like that. This one's good if you want to make something that looks like the Enterprise. Um, I was talking like long things are... <laughs> long things are cool. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I like this shape. This would be more like if we wanted things coming out the sides, actually, which maybe we do. We could put, like, winglings. What do we put? Big hoopy things. These things again. Can't actually land it on a spot. Yeah, it doesn't look as good on that. There's these huge loopy things. Hmm. Yeah, but like, why do you have a wing in space? We're not. We're not here for atmospheric flight. Now here we can just build girders. There's so. No, I don't like this hull. This one. This is what we're going to use. And we will add... Oh yeah, that's what we're going to add on the side. Big beefy things. Shump. Bam. Okay, now I like it. Alright, let's let's start with the weapons. We'll see if we can stick two on and see how much space that leaves us with. Where do we want to put the missiles? Here? Here? On the outside maybe? No, I like on the inside. The missile pods are protected from fire, they're not, they're less likely to just explode spontaneously. Okay, and then we'll stick the ion drive on the back. Bump. Good. Chaff, chafe for anti-missiles. Well, I'm worried about the Torians, but that's a that's a lot like gambling on just them because the defenses are only half as good against other people. Defenses are really good, but we haven't really checked out what everyone else has. So I think I'm just gonna stick some more missiles on here. On the underbody. Oh, we can't actually fit that one. Can fit one. Right here. Okay. Alright, and we have nine space left, which is actually enough for a second engine if we wanted to. Or sensors! You know what? We're going to stick some sensors on here. We want to make sure we'll be able to detect people. Stick it right on the front. There we go. 60 of 60. Save. 
Um, save over the quill vet since we didn't actually use it. Good. Done. So now we're going to keep building constructors, but we're going to start adding in some quill vets. 16 turns. This is on Karenids, which will be a very good production center, even though it's not right now. And we've got a random freighter kicking here? Is that one that's actually traveling? Yes, upgrade. Build me culture. Oh, yes. Now, every now and again, one of the modules requires a big money investment. Usually it's like the first in a big line. So this will cost 500 BC to add this diplomatic outpost module. But then other diplomatic modules uh, on this starbase won't cost us anything. So it's worth doing because that's what we want to do. It should help push out our culture a little bit more. Space mining. Good to keep our space miner busy. Could improve our morale a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Population growth. Well, it's not bad. Manufacturing centers are good. Research academies never hurt. We haven't had a single ethical decision to make yet. That's boring. Cultural domination. Let's focus here. Constructor done. Good. Uh, oh, right. I don't have to actually tell it where to go because I've set a waypoint. They automatically go. So cool. In fact, there's one coming there. Yes. More culture. Yeah, see, we're pushing out the borders ever so slightly. We have completed our innovation complex, which will increase our influence that much more. Citizens of Epsilon 2 have rebelled against the Corks and joined up with the Thalons. Wow. So that's actually what we're hoping to do. But apparently the Thalons may be building influence star bases, so we'll have to keep an eye on those guys. So now, yeah, we're setting up some nice space right in the middle of the map. We're going to want to push in a certain direction. Perhaps towards a minor race? Maybe. We could claim these uh, essential ascension crystals, too. We could also push towards Thoria. See how they think about that. Now, they're going to start to hate us. Influence star bases make them very nervous. But they don't like our McDonald's and our Walmarts. Can't imagine why. Yes. Interstellar Embassy. 10% more culture. Mwahaha. Culture dom cultural domination perfected! Hooray! Historical assimilation. We're just going to keep pumping these bad boys out. <laughs> there you are! We are the Korath clan. We are what you call evil! Frankly, we think it's gotten a bad rap. Sure, we like to kill and eat other sentient beings for our amusement. Sure, we enslave the weak. And yes, we consider tormenting to be a hobby. But that does, does that really make us evil? Well, nice to finally see you, buddy boy. Just so you're aware, we could crush you like a bug. Not saying we will, just that we could. Right, so these are the guys with all the slavery stuff. They must have traded some away. They like laser beams. I don't think we're going to bother researching. We're going to stick to our missile base combat for now. Can you, you want to trade us Xeno farming? We'll give you Xeno something else. That's probably much more expensive, actually. Yeah, than the 71. So anyway, yeah, we'll give you Xeno economics and you can give us some money. Wow, it's not very favorable. They must be jerks, too. And they are. Very well. Yes. Aha. So, okay. So, yeah, we can continue down the diplomatic building branch. 20% influence here. But if we start down this franchise center branch, we got to pay some money for that. So we may as well finish this one soon, but we will be starting to do those. So that's one of the reasons we need so much money. And luckily, our income is awesome. And they demand money. You know what? We're going to pay them because I, frankly, believe it's very likely they'll, they'll want to attack us. So economy doing very well. We're just going to buy people off for a little while. But yeah, we definitely need to start pumping out those ships because our military sucks. Okay, we're going to pay 500 for this guy. Boom, continue pumping out our influence more and more and more. You can see the circles start to get pushed out. Mining company on base 44 ended its trading with Torian Confederations, decided to beam its resources to the Terran Alliance, who they feel is culturally superior, and that's what happened right here. Yeah, baby. So we're going to take over that. We can't take over star bases, but we can take over planets. Which is awesome. 
Stage one of a new relationship starts out when two parties believe they have so much in common. Yeah. So we can keep going down that route. It's starting to be a little bit more. Do we want to pick up anything that we've missed? Miniaturization is always nice. Research, research academies are always good. So, you know, ethics. Diplomacy actually. Sure. We'll do that. Okay, more freighters coming into us, which is nice. And yeah, so the Torians have picked up an Ascension Crystal somewhere, but you can see it takes forever to win that way, so I'm not terribly, terribly concerned. How are you doing over here? Three weeks to our first military ship. Awesome. Hopefully people start stop picking on us. Franchise headquarters, plus 30%. Yay. We've pushed that out pretty good. At some point... Yeah, now the only mod module left is a military one. I'm actually going to go for it. Um, just because we've invested a lot in this thing and it would be horrible to lose it in a sneak attack. Diplomacy. More diplomacy. Yeah, ha ha! The Quilvet is the first medium sized capital ship that is designed specifically for combat. We have entered a new phase of galactic combat. Warfare in the galaxy will never be the same. Not that that looks like my ship, but that's okay. Yes, the first Quilvet. And we will launch it. It's quite fast. And we will actually send it to Earth. And it'll just patrol around Earth and defend it. Nice. Oh, we've got more. Galactic form. Oh, right, because we just picked up a new technology. Cool. Tourism bo business is booming. Revenue from tourism is up by a factor of 10. Fortunately, the people are growing increasingly resentful of taxes. That's interesting. The corks are at war with the Thalans. We're avoiding all these wars so far. So, yeah, uh, trade and tourism is up. People are not terribly happy with us, even though we're on only 39% tax rate. I guess we'll drop it down to 29%. People are happier, people are growing. Okay, good. There's other ways we can make people happier. Okay, 200 space bucks for battle stations. Good. And there's still a module available. I guess another military upgrade. I'll take a look at what that is. We're going to want to start building a new one soon. Today's people are on the go, and where they go, they spend money. Whether they're touring precursor ruins or simply relaxing on beaches, the tourism, the tourists are bringing in a lot of money. Five times more than before. Sweet. Because we are going to get an increasingly large ch chunk of tourism. So we're finally on the map when it comes to military. Right? But not much. Influence, though, we're high up. I think we're this... We're the dark blue. We're actually at the very top. Research, we're way above everyone else. Industry, middle of the pack. Economy, fairly high. It's hard to see, but we're pretty good. Population, middle of the road. But it's the military one that we got to improve because people are picking on us. Battle stations, Mark II, yes. And now it is done. It has no more modules available at this time. So we have to decide where we are going to start spreading our culture to. Or, like, so are we going to build another star base? One possibility. Are we going to improve our economic star bases? That's not bad either, actually. Um, and I think we may do that. I think what I'm going to do is take my governors, take my constructors, and reroute them nowhere. And then we will manually send them to our economic modules. I guess that's part of the reason Earth is building so well, because it's got all these freaking things. Hopefully, it does yeah, it should be in range. But we'll build some more. We'll build four more right along here at some point, maybe. Not that I'm sure the game's going to last that long, to be honest. So we are now number seven on the most powerful civs. So we're on the chart. We're in the top, at least. It's better than before. Yes, more wars. A lot of ships. More constructors. More production. we got so much money. Expert diplomacy. Yay. Okay. Starting to get expensive. Let's go back down the list here. More diplomacy. Not that we're really using the diplomacy, to be honest. Research is good. Miniaturization is good. Espionage. No, not much spying going on either, as far as I know. Entertainment. Uh, we could probably improve our morale. I don't know. Influence. Growth. Where's terraforming? Mm, 19. It's a little bit. These are all pretty high up. Let's get some research academies. We'll speed up our research a bit. 
Habitat improvement. Oh, wait. That's... Our planets may have things that can be built. Yeah, Mars. Hello. We are going to build... Uh, more influence. And you are going to build a power plant, for one. And... I would like... Zithium hull planing. 